Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a sheep. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the front part of the body. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a coin, a bottle cap, or anything else with a circular edge. To the left, draw another circle as a guide for the back portion of the body. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle too. First, make 4 small marks to indicate the sides of the circle, and then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Draw this circle slightly smaller than the first circle. The edges of the two circles should touch. On the top right side, draw another circle as a guide for the head. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle as well. Make this circle about one-third the size of the first circle. The edge of the head circle and the body circle should touch. Draw a curved line on the right side of the head as a guide for the muzzle. This guide should be similar to an arc on its side. Pay attention to the size of the arc in relation to the head. Draw a sloping line across the entire head. This is a construction guide that will help you place the facial features later on. Under the first circle, draw a long vertical line as a guide for the front leg. Bend the line slightly at the top to indicate a joint and then again at the bottom to indicate the hoof. Under the circle on the left, draw a long angled line as a guide for the hind leg. Bend the line in the middle to indicate a joint, and then again at the bottom to indicate the hoof. Connect the head to the body using sloping lines to create the guide for the neck. Curve the bottom line to indicate the chest. Connect the circles in the middle using long lines to finish the guide for the torso. Curve the line at the bottom to create the belly. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, lightly sketch a small circle for the eye. Place the eye on top of the horizontal construction guide and to the right of the center of the circle. When you get the size and position of the eye right, darken the shape. Make the top part of the eye flat. Draw a small line on the top left side of the shape for the outer corner of the eye. On the bottom right side of the shape, draw a small angled line for the inner corner of the eye. Under the eye, draw a curved line for a wrinkle. Inside the eye, off to the side, draw a tiny circle for a highlight. In the middle of the eye, draw an oval and shade it in for the pupil. Don't overlap the tiny highlight circle when you draw the pupil. Shade the top part of the eye using a value that's lighter than the pupil for a shadow. Darken the top edge of the initial arc to create the top part of the muzzle. Inside the muzzle, near the tip, draw a short wavy line for the nostril. Place the nostril on top of the horizontal construction guide. Under the nostril, draw a line that curves to the left for the mouth. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the line when you get the shape right. Don't make the mouth too long. Under the mouth, draw a curved line for the chin. Follow the shape of the arc as you draw the chin. 
Add a couple of lines around the nostril to give it structure. To the left of the eye, lightly sketch a long angled line for the ear. The ear should be similar to the letter V on its side. Draw a series of small curved lines along the top part of the shape for the woolly base of the ear. Darken the shape of the ear but make it more curved. Draw the ear under the horizontal construction guide. Lightly sketch a curved line on the top right side for the front part of the head. Darken the line using shorter curved lines to create the texture of the wool. Darken the outer edges of the rest of the guys using short curved lines to create the woolly shape of the head. Inside the head, draw a few short curved lines around the eye to indicate the separation of the wool and the bare skin on the face. Make the small lines for the wool different shapes and sizes. Break up the lines so that they don't connect. Draw more lines under the eye to finish the edge of the face. The bottom part of the wool should be close to the mouth. Darken the throat using short curved lines too. Use the vertical line that's under the body as a guide to draw the front leg. First, lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. Make the top part of the leg wide and then gradually make it thinner toward the bottom. The top part of the leg should be inside the body. At the bottom, keep the edges of the shape close to the guideline so that the leg is thin. Make the bottom part of the shape flat for the hoof. When you get the shape of the leg right, darken the lines. Use short curved lines as you darken the top part of the leg to create a woolly texture. Make the small lines for the wool different sizes and make some angled. Use straight lines as you darken the bottom part of the leg. On the tip of the foot, draw a short vertical line to split the hoof. Add a few more short curved lines inside the shape for texture. To the right, draw a similar shape for the other front leg. This front leg will be hidden behind the first front leg, so only draw the right edge. Use the first leg as a template as you draw this leg. Draw the top part of the leg using short curved lines for the wool. At the hoof at the bottom. Use the angled line on the left as a guide to draw the hind leg. Just like with the front leg, first lightly sketch the shape of the hind leg around the guideline. Make the top part of the leg wide and then gradually make it thinner toward the bottom. When you get the shape of the hind leg right, darken the lines. Use short curved lines as you darken the shape for a woolly texture. The top part of the leg should be inside the body. At the bottom, keep the edges of the leg close to the guideline so that the shape is thin. Make the bottom part of the shape flat for the hoof. Draw a small vertical line to split the hoof. To the right, draw a similar shape for the other hind leg. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shapes right. A big part of this leg will be hidden behind the first hind leg. Now use the remaining shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the body. 
simply darken the outer edges of the guides using short curved lines to create the woolly shape of the body. On the left side, draw an extra curved line for the tail. Make the lines for the wool different shapes and sizes. At the bottom, use short vertical lines for the creases on the wool. You can make the wool fluffier by drawing the edges of the body farther away from the guidelines. Now erase the initial guidelines. The next few steps are sped up so that the video isn't too long. Don't worry about erasing all of the guidelines, it's okay if you leave some behind. Redraw any of the final lines that you may have accidentally erased. Now shade your drawing. Shade using a series of short curved lines to create the woolly texture. Use vertical lines on the underside of the body for the creases on the wool. Shade lightly at first and gradually build up to darker values. For light values, push down very lightly on your pencil, then push down harder for darker values. Don't shade too smoothly, a rough value will create more texture on the wool. Use a darker value throughout the body to create some shadows. Shadows will give the figure more dimension and volume. Don't overthink it when you add the wool, just draw short curved lines to create texture. Draw the wool to contour to the shape of the body. Shading can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. Draw a shadow at the bottom using a medium value. Keep shading until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the sheep. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, and then the number two, then drawanimals.com. If you'd like to support my channel, please consider buying my books on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep drawing.